There has never been a bigger and more exciting season for sports betting. Winning season at MyBookie is all about doubling your deposit, cashing in on free bets, super contests, survivor streaks, and more. Every cent with a thousand bucks will be met with a match up to $1,000. So you can get your bets in for the game between the Texans and the Chiefs on Thursday night. All you have to do is use your promo code Holly to claim your extra cash. That's code Holly at mybookie.com for dollar to dollar deposit match. Winning season is here and it's only with my bookie. So that leads me like to specifically asking about financial domination because okay. that to me is something that is super, super interesting. Yeah. And that is a fetish that a lot of people didn't even know existed. You mm-hmm. know, like foot fetish, everybody knows about um, balloon popping fetish. You know, some people know about uh, pie in the face fetish, which is my personal <laughs> favorite. <laughs> Not everybody knows about, but that is a thing, people. Um, but just being a financial dominatrix mm-hmm. is such an interesting thing because you're literally, and I think a lot, and Actually, every financial dominatrix that I know um, doesn't get naked. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I think people hear that and they think, oh, that's so great and so easy. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just going to go online and say, give me all your money. And then just guys are going to be throwing cash at you. But it can't possibly be that easy. No, I mean, like you said, it sounds awesome. So, therefore, there's going to be a lot of supply for very little demand. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. There's going to be plenty of women that want to make money that way. And there's right. going to be a few men that, you know, want to give their money in that way. So, yeah, I always describe financial domination as basically when a guy gets off on giving a woman his money. And that's mm-hmm. his fetish. Mm-hmm. Um, normally... It's, I mean, that alone is pretty rare. Normally, it's kind of tied to other fetishes, like being humiliated or something to that effect. Or maybe sometimes it's like they want to see you on cam, like they want an interaction, and they'll just pay you like three times your rate or Mm -hmm. something like that. Um, Other times, a guy will get off on um, the idea of a woman like having access to his bank records or having like a credit card. Yeah. So, like, they'll actually supply you. With sensitive information. Yeah. Well, in theory, like they'll, they'll, they'll want you to like budget for them or like, um, you know, they'll, they'll put a, a credit card out, you know, under their name for you or whatever. Uh-huh. Um, but a lot of that is just kind of fantasy. It's usually if you, if you find a guy that's into that, it's like a 10 minute conversation where you just talk about that and then he gets off and, and does that. not actually give <laughs> yeah, you his credit card. card. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah. I heard that from uh, another girl who was like, yeah, this, the problem with the financial domination thing is a lot of guys like want to hear you talk about that. Be like, give me all your fucking money, mm-hmm. you know, you little piece of shit. And yeah. then they actually won't give yeah. you that money yeah. that they want you to talk about giving them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's why you have to have them call your, you know, your phone lines or like make sure <laughs> they prepay for Cam to talk about it cuz yeah, they'll they'll bullshit you and try to get off for free. I remember one time I had a guy call me and he was just like Mm, tell me, tell me how much money you made this month. And I was like, uh, I made this month. He's like, oh, it's so hot. How much, how much do you spend? I'm like, uh, this much, you know. And like, how much did you make last year? And I'm like, oh, I made this much. He's like, ugh. And then he like hangs up. And it was like, um, <laughs> it was, it was like one minute call it cost him five bucks. <laughs> so it's like he gets off on the fantasy, but you know, clearly he's not paying me a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's the most amount of money somebody sent you? Um, Can you say? Yeah. Uh, so last year, there was a guy who, I'm not sure what happened. If someone died, he got a bunch of inheritance or what. He'd always been a good payer, but this time he had made the rounds with, I think there were four or five of us girls, mm-hmm. and he spent a shit ton of money. Uh, I think we, me in one day, he spent $60,000. Wow. And then he paid other girls even more than that. And I think we all kind of added it up. It came to like a quarter million he spent on us in like just a couple weeks. Wow. Yeah. Like, no, did he actually send you money or did he buy you stuff? No, he sent us money. But in, in my case, I was um, just hanging out with friends. I was going out to brunch. And then I was just talking to him like on WhatsApp or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I was just texting him, sending him pictures here and there. And that was about it. And then he mm-hmm. was just like, dumping money into my account. Wow. So, yeah, that was wild. That was pretty cool. Um, but, you know, that... <laughs> that doesn't always happen. No. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's I would, never happened before. So. Yeah, I would imagine it's probably pretty up and down. You mm-hmm. probably have some months where, like, you get somebody who pays you a lot and then you have yeah. other months which are not as 
Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. And these guys, it's like when stuff like that happens, they just vanish. Yes. They, they'll come back, but like, you know, you got to get it while it's hot is the trick. You know, if yeah. you see him, it's like drop everything and, you know, tend yeah. to this guy because otherwise he's going to disappear for a while. Have you ever had a situation where you had somebody who was paying you a lot of money and then something like their wife found out or something like that? Not that I know of. I've had a lot. Of, <laughs> I've had guys... um, well, I've had quote unquote wives message me and say mm-hmm. things like, I caught my husband uh, watching your videos. How should I punish him? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, gee, I wonder who that came from. <laughs> so, as far as I know, I haven't talked to any actual wives. Okay, cool. Yeah. I have, there is a couple that buys videos from me. It's, it's, um, so it's a guy and girl, and the girlfriend is the one that emails me. I've never talked to the guy, and she orders these custom videos, and it's, it's his fetish, but like she orders the videos and then they watch them together, which I think is kind of sweet. That is cool. Yeah. I was going to ask you if you had any female customers ever, if it was just men. Yeah, it's, it's, Pretty much just men. She's the only one, the closest I have to a female customer. But even that's, you know, if it weren't for him, she wouldn't be buying the videos. They're pretty crazy videos, too. The guy has a, basically, an, it's some variation of me pretending to be his sister, making fun of the fact that he has to get a circumcision and that he won't be able to, like, masturbate for six weeks and it's going to be so painful. <laughs> like, oh it's pretty God. dark. And it's just, like... I just think his girlfriend is like girlfriend of the year that she's just like, yeah, cool. Let's watch it together. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Now, you've been a financial dominatrix for a while. Mm-hmm. And have you seen like a lot of girls jump on that bandwagon? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. When I first started, I feel like there was like five girls doing this. And now it's like just thousands and thousands. And it's just like you said. I mean, it looks really easy from the yeah. outside. It's like, oh, I just have to flip a guy off and tell him to give me money, that's great. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) There's an art to it. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I mean, there's just, you know, there's time and work you have to put into it, you know. How many clips do you usually um, do a week? Uh, I do three new videos a week. Okay. Yeah. And I have about 1,700 at this point. Jesus. Yeah, quite a bit. Do you ever feel like you shit, like you run out of things to say? Oh, yeah. (laughs) Totally. (laughs) I, I, um... I get a lot of customs, which is really nice. Yeah, because um, people tell you specifically what they want. Yeah, right. Um, and yeah, when I don't, when I run out of customs, it is kind of a drag to like, fuck, what should I do now? I mean, it is a lot of it is kind of repetitive, mm-hmm. so it's it's not like it's super fresh and original every time. I, yeah, it's impossible. Yeah, to do that. it's usually just kind of a spin on you know things I've done before. Yeah, because you're always going to have like new people coming in, and then like you know people who are seeing your new stuff haven't necessarily seen the older stuff. Right. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's impossible to always be the same. Totally. There has never been a bigger and more exciting season for sports betting. Winning season at my bookie is all about doubling your deposit cashing in on free bets, super contests, survivor streaks, and more. Every cent with a thousand bucks will be met with a match up to $1,000. So you can get your bets in for the game between the Texans and the Chiefs on Thursday night. All you have to do is use your promo code HOLLY to claim your extra cash. That's code HOLLY at mybookie.com for dollar to dollar deposit match. Winning season is here and it's only with my bookie. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. And go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.